Harper found herself constantly changing jobs, moving from one opportunity to another after each probation period. Ethan was discouraged by the situation. He was counting on her financial support. How are you doing? Ethan asked when he returned from a grueling day at work. Despite being tired and wanting to lie on the couch, he decided to talk to his wife. Actually, I'm starting at a new place tomorrow. She mentioned, her face lighting up with a hopeful smile. This news lifted Ethan's spirits. He was optimistic that this new gig would suit Harper well and that she might settle in for the long haul. Harper said that she will have to work at night as a chef at a 24-hour food delivery service. The first months flew by wonderfully, and she took up the job with pleasure. The salary began to become more and more solid, especially considering that night shifts offered twice the usual rate, which encouraged her to often work in a row. This routine persisted for more than a year. Harper threw herself into her work, and Ethan was ecstatic to see her taking pleasure in her employment. However, as time passed, he couldn't help but notice that Harper began splurging on notably pricey items. Each time, he expressed his astonishment at her purchases. Asking about her earnings, Harper would simply brush off his curiosity with a smile and a nonchalant comment that she made enough to cover her expenses. Ethan noticed that his wife, Harper, had been dedicating more time to enhancing her looks. She frequented the gym for workouts, became a staple at local beauty parlors, and regularly indulged in various beauty treatments. Ethan was quite pleased with these changes. He proudly shared photos of them together on social media, basking in the envy of his peers. One day, a friend teasingly warned him, you've got a youthful bride there, better watch out someone doesn't snatch her away. Ethan grinned and responded with a confident, I can handle it. They shared a laugh and moved on from the topic. Shortly thereafter, another buddy invited Ethan to his bachelor party. With a mischievous grin, he leaned in and quietly mentioned it would be at a strip club. Initially, Ethan hesitated, concocting reasons to avoid going as he didn't want to spark any jealousy from Harper. However, after some persistent coaxing from his friend, he reluctantly agreed. He chose to keep this plan hidden from Harper. On the day of the celebration, Ethan left the house earlier than usual while Harper was also preparing to depart for her night shift at work. He planted a kiss on her cheek and made his exit. Ethan was a bundle of nerves, consumed by the unsettling thought that Harper would catch wind of his deception. Yet destiny had a different plan in store. He and the gang shuffled into a dim-lit room adorned with neon glows, with most of the patrons being men huddled around scattered tables. Ethan felt like a teenager stumbling upon his parents' clandestine stash of intriguing tapes. He experienced a wave of discomfort, but his buddy tried to boost his spirits by insisting that every man must venture into such an establishment at least once. But I'm hitched, Ethan attempted to counter. Your missus ain't here, though his friend assured with a reassuring slap on the back. Oh, how misguided he was. They planted themselves at the most distant table from the stage, just as the girls began their entrance. Ethan made every effort to divert his gaze, but unexpectedly, the evening's instigator, perched to his left, nudged him forcefully. Check out the stage. He bellowed, with his exclamation lost amid the uproarious applause and booming music. Hesitantly, Ethan directed his eyes towards the stage and witnessed a sight he wished he never had to see. Standing there in exquisite lingerie was his very own wife. In that place, she accomplished feats that her husband deemed unattainable. He stood there, mouth agape, barely able to fathom that the woman before him was truly Harper. Ethan's companions were equally astounded. In a show of solidarity, they averted their gaze refusing to witness the scene unfolding. Ethan, however, couldn't tear his eyes away. Sitting at a considerable distance, he was certain that his wife remained oblivious to his presence. He observed the other men, their gazes fixated on her. A gentleman at a nearby table motioned to a waitress, whispering something in her ear while gesturing towards the stage. Ethan, too, beckoned her over, and the girl, swaying her hips seductively, made her way to their table. Can you enlighten me on the nature of your conversation with that gentleman? 
Ethan inquired, sensing that this information held significance for some reason. The girl glanced around cautiously, scrunching up slightly, and leaned in to whisper in his ear. He requested the company of the girl from the stage in a private room. Ethan's eyes turned bleak. He turned to his friend, seeking clarification on the concept of private rooms and their activities. His comrade reluctantly elucidated. The entire situation filled them all with immense sorrow. His pal suggested he leave, but he flat out refused. He intended to catch Harper off guard and confront the traitor head on. He lingered until she finished her speech and watched as a man at the adjacent table rose and headed left. Ethan trailed him inconspicuously, peeking from behind a corner to see which room the guy slipped into. Minutes later, Harper appeared by the door and slipped inside without a moment's hesitation. Ethan paused, unsure whether to storm in right away or bide his time until things escalated. Ethan, being quite the burly fellow, had no issue smashing through the flimsy door. And boy, did he walk right into a scene straight out of a tawdry soap opera. The guy was perched on a tiny red couch, pants around his ankles, with Harper awkwardly kneeling between his legs. She froze like a deer in headlights when she spotted her husband standing there, his eyes ablaze with fury. Ethan barely had a second to react before the bouncers swooped in, pinning him down under the scrutinizing glares of the onlookers. They escorted him out of the nightclub, and one of the bouncers caught his gaze, querying, Is she your wife? Ethan gave a confirming nod. The guard exhaled a deep, weary breath. He revealed that Harper had been an employee there for quite some time, always claiming her single status, never mentioning a family. But now her claims have really become the truth. Ethan uttered with a tinge of sorrow. Without a parting word, he pivoted and strode off to somewhere, anywhere. He needed solitude. That night, he didn't return home. By daybreak, he had terminated his apartment lease, and within a few days, he initiated divorce proceedings. Harper tried to reach out, bombarding him with calls. Initially, he would pick up, enduring her tearful pleas through the receiver. But eventually, he grew weary of it. Forgiveness was beyond him, and he no longer wished to burden his heart with her cries. Moving away from that life, years later, he settled down anew, marrying a woman of his own age and welcoming a daughter into the world. Harper was terminated from her position at the nightclub. The patron whom her spouse discovered her with lodged a formal grievance with the management and demanded compensation for emotional distress. As a result, Harper faced charges, leading not only to the loss of her savings, but also plunging her into debt. She resolved never to venture back into that field, embarking on a quest for alternative employment. Night after night, she found herself weeping uncontrollably in her small room, tormented by the memories of how she had sabotaged her own life. Financial constraints made it impossible for her to afford a larger living space. She castigated herself for chasing quick riches and for betraying Ethan, who had shown her nothing but kindness. Indeed, all things in life seem relative. The gentleman she encountered subsequent to leaving her spouse appeared initially affable. However, upon confiding in him about the motives behind her separation from Ethan, he abruptly departed, spewing hurtful invectives her way. At present, Harper felt utterly devoid of future happiness. She endlessly wandered through various leased abodes, engaging in any kind of job to barely scrape by. Her former comrades shunned her upon discovering her past, leaving her with a poignant realization that she had relinquished everything, love, family, and security. Her sole remaining option entailed embarking on a fresh new beginning. As time flew by, Ethan's life took a turn for the better. He landed a great job, formed new friendships, and eventually met a special someone who shared his hopes and dreams. Together, they put down roots, creating a family filled with love and trust. Meanwhile, Harper couldn't entirely shake off the shadows of the past. Memories of those early, joyful days with Ethan would occasionally surface, reminding her of what once was. Yet, life marched on, and both of them gleaned their own lessons from bygone days.